Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today we're gonna to do a review of Amazon's number one best-selling digital thermometer. This is the Etik City Infrared Thermometer. You can get it off of Amazon for $23. Again, number one best-selling. I'll put a link in the show description. So let's open it up. You don't have to cut it open. It just pulls apart right here. I like that. I don't. I don't like when you've got to cut these plastic things open. I've gotten I've cut myself many times from doing that. We've got instructions. Now the battery. The first thing it doesn't. The battery's not installed, but we got it's inside the machine. Sometimes they put the batteries inside the plastic thing, but this one it's in the handle. So we just got to grip this handle right here. If you grip it, you can see there's a little thing right there and it just should pull away and it's hinged. Now there's the nine volt battery. Now it's got plastic on it. We're going to cut that plastic away. Okay, so now I've got the plastic removed. And again, you just line them up and then they snap on. Okay. And just kind of fit the wires in here. be a little tricky so the wires go on the side and this should snap and now my display works all right okay so the reason I got this I sent another one back because the display was not backlit um, this one is backlit but it's very there's not a lot of fancy features on this this is a very basic thermometer it's got Celsius and Fahrenheit so when I press the button it's going to shoot a beam out and measure wherever it hits. So I'm going to press the button. Now it's reading the temperature. Again, I can go to Celsius or Fahrenheit just by pressing that button. I can turn the laser on and off. So when that little caution light is lit up, that means the laser is off. So when I shoot it, then there's no laser. When I turn that back on, then that laser. And the laser is just to know, to kind of know where you're checking the temperature at. That's all that laser is for. You can see the little laser comes right out there. And then we've got the backlight. So now that back, what I like mainly about this, you can see this display without the backlight. Now I got a bunch of light on right now. So I've turned a bunch of light off. So let's, so yeah, that's a really nice backlight but I, I like this display a lot and it's very, very simple to use. So let's look at the, let's look at the box for our specifications. 58 degrees Fahrenheit to 716. Accuracy plus or minus 2% or two degrees Celsius. Resolution is 0.1. Response time less than 500 milliseconds. It's got a fixed emissivity at 0.95. So that emissivity, that's where a lot of these temperature guns, you can change the emissivity um, for like steel or water, but I, I, I find that I just don't need that feature. And it takes a nine volt battery. It says battery inside, remove the plastic cover. Let's take a look at the instruction manual. So it's telling you as you move farther away from the object, it checks the temperature in a bigger radius. And as the closer you get, it's more of a close. Pretty, pretty simple. So to activate the display, you can just press a button. After you pull, you gotta pull, you gotta pull the trigger to activate to turn it on. So it does shut off automatically. So it talks about when you hold the button, it's going to do a continuous reading. So as things change, see I'm holding the button, but once I let go of the button, it says hold. That's the last reading that this thing had. So let me put my hand, I let up, it says hold. So that's kind of a nice feature, continuous as I'm holding the trigger. So the con it's continuous as you hold the trigger and if you let up, then it goes to the hold feature. Let's just do size real quick. This thing's about almost six inches, maybe an inch and a half wide, and that way it's about three and a half. So very nice. This is rubbery. 
It's kind of a little bit of a grippy, not much. I really like it. I, you, know, you cannot get this in water. You know, you're not gonna be able to submerse it. Is it gonna hold up? Uh, not necessarily. It's not super industrial, like, but boy, just for around the house. And if you take good care of it, this thing should last a long time. You're gonna wanna keep that area clean. Don't point the laser in your eye, but yeah, this thing, you know, for $23, I think it's gonna last if you take care of it. It's gonna be a nice, nice thermometer, just very basic. Looks like it does have a low battery warning light. It's not on right now, but I can see it's there. So when the battery does get low, that's a nice feature. So thanks everybody for watching. I'll put a link to this in my show description. Again, I reviewed another one that I did not like, um, but this was Amazon's number one best selling. It says it's not for human, so you can't check forehead temperatures with this, but it's pretty close. You know, it's pretty close to checking temperatures. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.